All right, so how about we make it a little more interesting? So here comes mom over here, and she's going to pull the swing back and hold it. So the boy's still in there. <laughs> he got smaller. Uh, so we're going to pull the swing back, and I don't know, what do you think? Maybe an 18 degree angle? It's a nice angle. <clears throat> so what that does now, we're still at rest, so everything is still balanced. But now we've got some angles in there. So let's um, let's find the new tension in the rope. Okay, so our big question here, what is this new tension that we've got going on here? <clears throat> so what forces do we have? Well, we've got Earth, and we have Mom. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at the swing. Let's look at the swing. So we've got mom with, we can just say an applied force. We've got gravity, and then we have the tree, or the string, that has a tension force. And we also have the boy with the weight. Okay, so we're looking at the tension in the string. Since the swing is actually what we're talking about, we can actually put the swing and the boy in one big system. So let's draw it that way, it's a little bit simpler. So we've got our force diagram. So we're going to have gravity pulling down. That'll include both the boy and the swing. And then we have mom over here pulling this way. And then we have our angle now, let's see, we're going to have a, that's going to be really small, I'm not measuring this, but here's our force of tension, okay? So this angle here was 18 degrees, get my angles right. All right, so now we have components. So we have to take into account the fact that our tension force is not just working in the x direction or just in the y direction but in the X and the Y. So let's start out writing our sum equations. Right, let's look at all the forces acting in the Y directions. What direction? There's only one Y. So we have our force of gravity, which is acting straight down, but we have this component, this part of the tension force that has a Y component to it. So it's not the total tension force, but the Y component of the tension force. And we're still not moving, so this is going to be equal to zero. And then we also have, if we draw a right angle to the Y axis, we also have a X component of our tension force, it's an X, and the applied force from our mother over here on the other side. And those are equal to zero because again, we're not moving. Now this angle here, uh, I lost my tree, but remember our angle was going this way. So our angle here with the tree was 18 degrees. So there is an 18 degree angle right there. Now we're looking for the tension in the rope. So the only thing we really know is going to be this force of gravity. We don't know how much force the mom is applying in this direction. We, we only know the mass of, well, the swing and the boy. So remember our tree has the swing and the boy uh, hanging down from it, and the mass of the swing was 25 kilograms, and the mass of the boy was 27 kilograms. So the total mass Oh, what is that? 52 kilograms, which we would have to take times that negative 10 newtons per kilogram, and we have negative 520 newtons as our force of gravity. So we can plug this back in up here, and remember this is an equation, so we can solve this equation. We know that negative 520 newtons plus the y tension in our swing is equal to zero. So we're just going to move our 520 over there and find the force of our, oops, um, the y component force of our tension force is going to be 520 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so how does that help us? Well, we are trying to find, we're trying to find the force of tension in the string. And so now we know this angle and we know one of the sides of our triangles. Triangle. <laughs> Everything's plural today. So we have a Y component and we have the angle. Now remember, our Sokotoa, the sine is the opposite, the cosine is the adjacent, and we're trying to find the hypotenuse. So when we talk about this tension right here, this force of tension is the hypotenuse of our triangle. So we know the adjacent side. So we're going to use that cosine. So the cosine of our angle theta is going to be the adjacent leg divided by the hypotenuse leg. Our angle is 18 degrees. Our adjacent leg is our Y component, which we just found to be 520 newtons. And we're trying to find that force of tension. So if we solve for the force of tension, we're going to take that 520 newtons and we're going to divide it by the cosine of 18 degrees. So we're going to make sure our calculator is on degrees, not radians, and we're going to take 520 and we're going to divide by the cosine of 18 degrees, and that is going to give us a force of tension of 550 newtons in our rope. So the rope that is holding up our tire swing has a tension force going this way of 550 newtons.